Hello, my name is Tim, and today I'm going to be showing you how to import contacts into Mercury. What this will allow you to do is to import contacts into Mercury from an Excel spreadsheet. So the first thing we're going to do is bring up our Excel spreadsheet full of contacts and just have a look at it. Now the most important thing to do here is to make sure that the first name and last name are separated into individual columns. Now you can see here, just having a quick look and make sure that all of this content is formatted correctly and is relevant data. Okay, so once we're happy with our spreadsheet, we're then going to go into Mercury and then we're going to click on the Admin tab. Now it's a good idea before you do an import is to create a category for the group of people that you're about to import. Now to do that, we're going to click on CRM settings, then we're going to click on manage categories. Click on the green plus, and I'm just going to create a category here called data import, and click OK. Now you can see that that's created a category for us. The next thing we're going to do is click on the data tab and then click on import contacts. That will then bring us up a dialog box and we click on the search button and then we just need to select the Excel document that has our contacts in it. This is it here, webinar contacts and then click open. And then we just now need depending to click on the size of the document, CRM. this may take a little bit of time to load up. Now from here, it will give you an option to import to a company. If you have virtual branches, you can select to import to a specific virtual branch. It'll also ask us here to select a category. Now this is the category we've just created called data import. And it's gonna ask us if we want to create an opportunity for each contact. We're gonna leave that blank. Now from here, you just need to map the fields just to let Mercury know where to put these, this content. Then you select from the drop-down box. Obviously this one is title. Then first name, last name, date of birth, and so on. I'm just gonna scroll across now you can see here, this is where we'd put in our addresses. And the last column here, this one, if you remember on the spreadsheet, was owns a car. Now that's not a relevant piece of information to put into Mercury. So we're going to leave this blank and it won't import this information. Um, I'm going to leave these ones blank as well. So none of this will be imported into Mercury. Then I click on the import button. Okay, and then we click OK. From here, we can go into the CRM and add a filter. And we're going to add a filter based on category in data import. And then we're just going to do a search. Now you can see here, it's brought up all of the people that we have just imported into Mercury.